I opened up an Etsy shop. Uh -huh. what? Welcome or welcome back to the vlog, friends. Hi, if you're new, I'm Nadia. I make motherhood, lifestyle, and faith videos here on YouTube, and I would love to be friends. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and they just keep me on my toes. It is actually Thursday today, and I'm gonna bring you all along for a few days this week as we, you know, do all the mom things and just enjoy the beautiful spring weather here in Texas. So, figured it would be fun to bring you all along. On the agenda today, we started by doing some banana bread. It was so good because I loved it. And then we just had a quiet morning, restful morning, read my Bible, had my coffee, kind of did a little bit of tidying up around here. But we're actually about to head out to go to H-E-B. I have to do an H-E-B pickup at 12, which is in about 30 minutes. I've been loving doing H-E-B pickups versus just popping into the store. It is so much more convenient. So a pickup it is for today, but figured it would be fun to bring you all along and I'm excited to spend a few days together. home from H-E-B and it was so sweet. My husband called me and he said he was on his way home while I was picking up the groceries and he just took us out for lunch. We just had a simple H-E-B barbecue lunch, which was so sweet. It was so thoughtful and it was just a nice little surprise for our day. So that was very, very lovely. It's actually quite tragic because my sourdough starter i like to leave out on the counter and i was gonna go and feed it today and i noticed that there is a dead fruit fly in here so i'm obviously not gonna use this and i usually have like two starters on the counter in case anything happens and i don't have two starters on the counter this time which is quite a bummer but i have a couple jars in the fridge that I just put in there before we traveled in January so I just don't know if it's gonna be any good it is old starter that you know has been sitting there for three months so I'm gonna take it out take a look and see but otherwise if I have no starter then I have to start from scratch and that is a pain. There is a quick little haul. We grabbed some fruit flies. I already put them out. Grabbed some hair ties for me. I can't find any more. So grab some of those. Some pickles. Some dish soap. I needed wipes. Usually we get these at Costco. But we are all out. So grab some wipes. I have been loving poppy sodas. Grabbed some breadcrumbs for a recipe for tonight some mayo and these are the kids absolute favorite bars if you have an heb near you go try these out they're amazing and then some bread some brioche buns and then some normal bread the day my husband has worship practice tonight so another solo parenting night but I'm actually sitting down about to enjoy some dinner a pretty simple late dinner because we did have kind of a late lunch and it was a pretty hefty 
lunch and so i'm just enjoying some quesadillas and my little root beer poppy that i picked up from heb today it's pretty good but i definitely think that my favorite poppy is the classic cola i wanted to share what i read in the bible today and kind of what stood out to me and um, I have been loving using my iPad to take notes and to write down and jot down my thoughts. I was reading in Joshua 24. I finished the book of Joshua today, which is just, I'm just so proud, but that's besides the point. I was in Joshua 24, 14 through 15, where it says, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve whether the gods your father served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And something that the Lord has been working in my heart recently is this question of who are you serving and what are you idolizing? Is it possible that you are serving and idolizing the things of this world? You have just been thinking in the past couple of weeks like, Lord, what what am I serving over you? What am I loving more than you? What am I choosing over you? Would you reveal those things to me? so that I can recognize them and surrender those things to the Lord and wholeheartedly pursue and serve him and honor him and love him. And so I just really loved that little encouragement in Joshua today. I wanna to ask you the same question. What are you serving? What are you loving? What are you choosing over God? Would you ask the Lord to search your heart? Would you ask the Lord to reveal the things that maybe you are putting more attention on i think it's important that we have the lord search our hearts that we you know pick out those things so that it doesn't consume us and so that the lord can take it over and we can love him and honor him wholeheartedly but i'm gonna eat my dinner i'm going to journal for a little bit and i will pick the camera back up in the morning it has been many many days and if you can't tell by my voice i'm so incredibly sick the kids and i have been sick for the past i want to say like week now elena got it first and as most sicknesses do it dominoed over to ezra and then to me and so we've been having just super restful days and relaxing days and i don't really know what we have it has not been a fun time but i realized i never actually ended the vlog but i wanted to share something before i go i opened up an etsy shop and i'm selling digital products digital goods and i'm so excited i have put so much work and so much thought into creating these digital products i love using my ipad for digital planning and digital note taking and I'm just like a stationary girly through and through, and I really, really love doing that. And um, so I felt like making a digital product, which is what I was using in the last clip for a lot of things like this. I have always felt a lot of imposter syndrome, like, oh, I have these ideas, but I can't do them because somebody else has already done them. I felt a lot of imposter syndrome in making my little digital product, but I'm thankful for my husband who pushes me and he encourages me. And together with his help, we opened up an Etsy shop and I have made three sales, which is awesome. And it is just like so surreal that people 
are choosing to support me and my little venture into Etsy and to, you know, making these digital PDFs and it has just been so fun. I will leave the link down below if you want to check them out. I would love and appreciate your support. Um, if you have an iPad, you can just download the file into a note-taking app. I recommend the app GoodNotes. It was free when I got it, but I don't know if it's free anymore. Or you can also just um, download it and print it out and have it, uh, you know, with your Bible. But I'm so excited. And with that, I'm going to go get some rest. I'm going to take some medicine and I am going to knock out. Don't forget to check out the link for my Etsy shop. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.